Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of EVE Online with myself, NuxV1. And uh, today, I'm going to show you how to use the Agent Finder. Uh, we're going to go do some Sisters of EVE missions, which hopefully will net us some uh, rewards and some bits and pieces, some extra money. But it is a bit of a journey, so we're going to have to find the agent we want to go to, and then we're going to fast travel there. So I'm going to cut the video, and we're going to just jump straight there. But um, if you go into the station services area on the right hand side of your screen here, down the bottom you'll see there's guests, agents and offices. If you just click on agents and then click on the agent finder, there is other ways to do this but this is just the way I found most simple. Now you'll be presented with a list of available, I think. Yeah, if you if you look down here it says show only available, you can tick that off to, to show all, but sometimes that's not wise just because you'll be traipsing through thousands upon thousands of missions until you find one. Alright, now you've got faction, corporation, agent type. Agent type basically just tells you what mission it is, like factional, um, warfare, security, storyline, etc. I'm pretty sure the one we're going for is storyline, but we're not going to put that in just yet. You've also got the area they are in the universe, so you can have them in this region, this side, any side, or oh, I say this region, it could be any region. I actually don't think lasile has got any, uh, any, um, what's the word, any agents in it, so we're alright there. Solar system is again, just select the area you would like to go. And, uh, there you go, the security status as well, so you can select if you want to do safe missions, basically. So what we're going to do is we're going to go faction, and we're looking for the Servant Sisters of Eve. And it's this chick here, this Ati Ura or however you say her name and we're just corporation at the sanctuary I'm pretty sure oh no okay well never mind he's in very low low space sisters of eve okay sister Atty. I don't know I can't even say her name let's start a conversation with her Ali Tura okay so you click on her starts a conversation she's like oh sounds good please stop by so we can just formalize the mission now if we look at Arnon <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. If we look at Arnon, I think it's about eight jumps away, eight to fifteen jumps away. Let's um, let's bring up the map. And because we've just set the destination on our autopilot, it will tell us one, two. In fact, if we close all this and just look up here, eight jumps. Okay, so that's not too bad. Um, what I am going to do as I'm going to show us through the first couple of gates and then I'll cut the video and we will join back up in a minute. What I want to do quickly first though is I just want to check to see if my inventory is full. Yeah, let's get rid of all this shit. There's just stuff that I got on uh, old runs. So there's just stuff in there. I've kitted the drone bay out with loads of Valkyries just because um, they're the quickest and in my mind, regardless of what damage type they're doing, um, they're quick, so I'm hoping that that will count for Summit. Uh, and I'm also going to make sure everything's repaired, so Vexa, repair item, okay, no worries. Uh, the Procurer's here, the Procurer, um, we won't be using the Procurer for a few episodes, I don't think. Even though we worked so hard to go get it, we won't be using it for a couple of, uh, couple of missions, because I want to go do the Sisters of Eve missions. Now, the reason to do the Sisters of Eve missions is to get loyalty points and things like that. Uh, money, money's always nice, and uh, because of that, we can buy better, more things, and we get better standing to do other missions, better missions further down the line for these guys. And as you can see, they've also got their own type of ship. So if we look up here, these two ships here, <coughs> uh, a cross breed of the Galent and Amar sort of systems, are cruisers. And this little frigate here, so you've got the Astero and the Stratios. They're the ones I'm sort of going for. The Stratios can be quite expensive. Or is it the Stratios or the other one? Yeah, the Stratios is fucking unnecessarily expensive. But um, I'm hoping we can get one on one of these missions. So let's just close that. We can close that as well. We sort of know where we're going. It's in the autopilot. That's what I wanted to talk to you about is autopilot. Down here you've got this thing that says autopilot. Also activatable by pressing Control and S. It's best not to use it, to be honest with you. It's best to just... Um, hang on, let me just... There we go. It's best to just um, 
do it yourself manually because when you autopilot instead of warping right up to the gate it warps you 15 kilometers away from the gate and then it has the ship has to move in manually and then warp and then the next time it warp it will go to 15 kilometers away from the gate and then it will manually have to go in again so it's just easier to jump manually like it's easy to just go jump 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 as opposed to autopilot you'll be waiting about half an hour to get through eight systems so just bear that in mind and also if you go through low sec and you've got your autopilot switched on and someone rats you then that's the end of that really isn't it if someone ganks your face that's game over so what I'm going to do is I am going to jump through this stargate usually if we was on autopilot we'd have ended up much further back so we don't have to travel if we just jump straight to it and uh, I'm gonna stop the video here for a second and I will bring you guys back in once we're making our approach to uh, Arnon so uh, yeah take it easy guys see you soon okay we are one step away from Arnon I've lost my ship where is it oh there we go she's just invisible there we go. So now we should be able to pull up at this station. Or the, the, we'll jump and then we'll pull up at the station and then we'll be able to grab ourselves a quick little mission. The reason I've chosen Sisters of Eve, uh, not just for all the rewards, is because they're sort of the only good faction, in my opinion. Like, you've got all the military factions like Galentamar, Minmatar, and Kaldari. Um, and all the other factions like Serpentis, Angel Cartel, all them things, they seem to be pretty evil. The military factions aren't evil, but they're just fighting for what they believe is right. And then Servant Sisters of Eve seem to have some sort of moral base. So I think they're the good guys. I could be totally, totally horribly wrong. But I'm, I'm led to believe that out of all of the factions in the known universe, the Servant Sisters of Eve uh, are the good guys. We're in a Mars space, by the way, which uh, doesn't make me feel very comfortable. Amar or Kaldari? I'm pretty sure it's Amar, though, even though all the buildings are Kaldari. It makes sense because the uh, the person handed out the mission, her faction is a cross between Amar and Galen, so... At least I think it is, unless it's Amar and Kaldari. No, it is. It's Amar and Galen. Yeah. Or is that Minmatar? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, no, that's Minmatar. Oh, no. No, it is Amar. Ignore me. I'm just going crazy. So desperate to get here and get this mission. I'm just talking shit. No, it is. It's Amar and Galen. So we should really be in an Amar system. Here we go. I haven't been at this station in about four years. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. It's changed significantly as well since I was last here. Come on! I want to dock my spaceship. Docking request accepted. Thank you. Excellent. Right, Epic Arc Agent Security, you start conversation. I asked for help, and they sent me a capsuleer. You are a capsuleer, aren't you? An immortal pilot who subverts the rules of life and death, who shapes the fates of empires. You'll have to excuse my scepticism. I work with a human... human tip... I work with a human tip... humanarium... Oh, you know what? The Sisters of Eve. I've seen your kind hasten the deaths of millions every day. You expect me to believe that you're different? To prove yourself, your actions will have to do the talking. We've just received a distress call from a ship called the Damsel, and you're the closest aid available right now. Humanitarian. There you go. Get out there and save some lives. Prove it to me that you're not just another murderous liar with a god complex. With all the power at your disposal, you certainly could be a force for good, and one thing is certain, good is in dire need of allies these days. Let's go do it, Manark. Okay, set destination, accept, launch. How comes I couldn't say humanitarian? What the fuck is wrong with me? It's these little words, man. I'm gonna blame the little words. Too tiny for my brain to read. <laughs> yeah. Let's just blame that. How much am I getting for this mission? That was like quite a lot, wasn't it? Under oh. 224,000 just for this one mission. Let's do it. 
go, we've got to go through Emsor to get to Manark. Uh, DR, I think, has done most of these missions by now. Um, I think he's been paid, been paid quite a lot, quite a handsome little sum. He took the spare Vexor that we had in the Corporation hangar and he's kitted it out with loads of stuff. Um, and he's been doing the sort of level 2 missions and things like that, so... Hopefully, my drone boat Vexor will survive as well, considering it's just armoured tank to the max. But, um, we shall see. Here we go. These warp gates are cool, but I still prefer the Galent ones. And Manark. This is nice going to some sort of lower sex systems as well. When you do missions from Luce, you're usually just stuck around like 0809 surrounding systems. Getting sent to 07 and below is going to be nice. Just a quick update while we're waiting for all this to sort of happen. The Chaos Nova Corporation! There's no advertisements, but if you can find our corporation out there in the universe, uh, feel free to send us an invite to join. Uh, we've got a few people now. Yeah, we've got four people, which is which is quite nice. So, um, yeah, if you guys want to join, Chaos Nova Corp. If you can find it, just send us an invite and we'll, uh, we'll let you know. We don't really do a lot, it's just a tax haven. Um, we're more likely to do little mining missions if we all get together or, uh, or mission missions as it were. We're not really that likely to go to like zero zero and start ratting for other people and things like that. I don't, not too confident in the whole, uh, not too confident in the whole PvP side of things. We will get into them, but it's just going to take some time. Right, a beacon beckons, Sister Al Alitura. It's an encounter, so instead of warping straight to the location, I'm going to warp to within 30 kilometers just to make sure I've got some space between me and them if I'm going straight into a into a fight here. So come on, Vexa, me and you, let's do this. There you go. Sweet. And I'm going to change my overview to... Let's just say general. Let's see if anything's out here. Um, I can't see nothing, but that just means that I've got my thing loaded wrong. Beacon. Nagfla. Lower half. Nagfla. Upper half. Armageddon. You're kidding me. Everything's been destroyed. This is probably what I was supposed to be protecting. Okay, well, let's get over there. Just read my journal quickly. God, this mouse is freaking me out, I tell you. Oh my god, look at the size of them icons. Excellent. Right, read details. Approach the wrecked ships, okay. Yeah, no, I did wonder. Armageddon. Nag Nagelfar. And Revelation. Jesus. They're three quite big ships from what I remember as well. Let me just, uh... Where's the... Oh, God, I've moved all this now, haven't I? Right. Armageddon, if that's how you spell it. I should know, I play enough worms. Huh. 1,049 metres long. Oh, well, it might not have been that big. Still, it's quite costly. What does it do? Combat battleship designed for frontline fighting for the Amar Empire. It's got a drone capacity of 375. That's kind of awesome. Hmm. Let's put the afterburner on. Make make this journey go a bit quicker. There you go. 
Loving them sound effects. Where's the beacon? The beacon's up there. The Armageddon's down here. Let's just uh, continue our course inwards. Hmm. Should I have the drones out? That's my my one concern at the moment. And also, I wonder if any of these have got cargo bays where they might have been survivors. I doubt it, though. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Here we go. Complete remotely. Excellent. It seems Concord was faster to respond, but your backup was definitely appreciated. There are a handful of survivors picked up. They've been taken to various care facilities in the area where other vacancies can be found. Oh, excellent. So, that's that done then. Now I've just got to get back to, uh, back to my agent. I can't remember what Stargate I came through. Oh, and uh, now I've got the option to do it remotely as well. I can just, I could just finish my missions that way. No one fired on the damsel. Something must have happened inside the ship. We'd like you to track those survivors down. Concord is the first technological step. I've gotten in touch with Concord agent Tervis Jack, who may have information for you. Go see if you can find a piece of this puzzle. Report to Tervis Jack. Okay. Set destination. Let's do this. I don't even think I've had to accept this mission. I think I've just automatically got it. Hang on, let me just... Offered. Oh, I might have to go back and get it, but we'll see. I'm kind of irritated that I can't accept that. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Start conversation. Accept remotely. Please say I can do this. Hey, there we go. Okay, that's much better. I thought I was screwing the pooch a little bit there, but it's all good. We're good. Let's go. Let's go and meet an agent in space, and then I think we'll round up the episode there, guys. But uh, thank you very much for watching. These uh, these episodes might slow down a little bit, because um, I'm getting a bit into Fallout, and I'm waiting for skills in this character to level up. And uh, also, we need to earn more credits, so I'm going to be doing a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff, earning myself some money. Mining, missions, ratting, that sort of thing. I think it's just going to be mining in the cover in like 07 space. Um, but we'll find out. We've got to work out what the most valuable ores are. We think it's Scordite in lowest in high sec. And uh, Kernite. I think it's Kernite. I could be wrong. I think it's Kernite in slightly lower sec. And then you've got some really good ores in 00, zero and things like that. So that's something to bear in mind. Tevis Jack. Let's go. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of off-camera work in EVE over the next couple of couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, maybe bring back a few of the Minecraft videos. I've been neglecting to do the Minecraft stuff recently. I just need a little break from it. I think the arena just took it out of me. So uh, we'll we'll get round back round there uh, tomorrow tomorrow night Fridays uh, new scheduling Friday nights is going to be Magic believe it or not so uh, I'll be uploading the Magic the Gathering games I do on Friday from now on so it'll probably be Fallout Eve Fallout Eve um, Magic the Gathering or Fallout Eve Minecraft Eve or Fallout and then Magic the Gathering right so we are at our uh, location in space. Tevis Jack is down there and what we're going to do is we're going to click on him and then we're going to start conversation in space. Yeah, I picked up the crew that outlived that explosion. Pretty massive, whatever it was. I'll see if I can track down the facilities they were sent to if, if you can do me a favour. A bunch of pirates have been scavenging the explosion site. Go and take them out for me. It shouldn't be too much trouble for a capsuleer and you might even find some extra information. Hell, you can probably get it done in the time I'll need to look up the rest of this data. Damn legacy systems. Hmm. Location Manark. Okay, that's the place we've just been. I'm going to delay this mission. I think. Can I do that? 
Delay. Delaying your decision on a mission will end your conversation with the agent, but the mission offer will remain in your journal. If you are not ready to accept this mission right now, you may defer it and come back later to the agent later until the offer expires. Expired offers will automatically be removed from your journal. Ooh. Okay, you know what? Let's um Let's do this mission quickly. It's gonna be a slightly longer episode than usual. We're gonna jump through the Stargate for Manark. And then, once I've completed that mission, I'm probably going to... I'm going to complete it remotely. And then I'm going to pull into a starbase. So, there you go. Although, I've already got the mission. Now that I've accepted it, it doesn't expire. So, I could just go to a star... Um, to a station if I wanted to. And just stay there until I was asked to do the mission. I feel like I've kind of just travelled out here for nothing though. If he'd have just given me his phone number, I'd have been able to be like, yo, what do you want doing? And he'd be like, right, go back to the system you've just come from and kill some dudes. Alright, okay, yeah, I can do that. Uh. There we go, right, let's get this done. Of interest encounter, walk to location within 30. Mining and combat. I need to get rid of some of this shit. Moon. Remove moon from overview. Uh, asteroid belts. Remove asteroid belt from overview. Remove planet from overview. Stargate will keep. We'll get rid of these. Um, oh no, we need uh, customs offices. How many bloody stations are there in this? None. So what are these? Customs offices. I thought they were stations. Yeah, remove them. There we go. And remove the sun as well. Jesus. Right, here we go. We've got some fighting. We've got some fighting. Let's get some fighting done. Da -da. Da -da. Da -da. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep it range after burner on. And now that I've got a target, I'm just going to press F. And for some of these other guys, I'm also going to press F1. Ha 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 yes. <laughs> That's what you get. Go after him, drones. Excellent. And then, get to that. Well, more have flooded the system. Good, good. It gives me a decent fight. Get in there. Right, now, with you. With the thing. <laughs> they barely are up on my uh, targeting computer for more than a second. And then they're just like, boom, taken out. I love it. <laughs> 24... Kilometers is a bit close for the old laser guns. Let's try and uh, yeah, go after that one. There's probably going to be some more jumping into the system in a minute. Let's go for this loot. Come on, Valkyries, you can do it. One of them's taking a bit of damage. That's not too bad, though. Oh yeah, two more, excellent. Let me just get to this loot. Yeah. They took one out before I even had the chance to have him then because he bloody he fired on me. Excellent. So the drones just took him out. I think my drones are just aggressive drones, which is nice. Excellent! Don't mess with the Valkyries, son. Yeah, how about reapproach? You can shoot me all you like, pal. I ain't fast. I'm tanking for my little drone dudes. Ok, 
Okay, Tevis Jack wants me to bring him this, uh... Oh God, where's the bloody... <laughs> right, okay, you're going to have to give me a minute, Tevis, because my uh, overview isn't set up properly for missions. Is it this thing here? Cargo container, there we go. Oh, it is. Okay, never mind, it is set up. Go get that cargo container. Oh! Tevis Jack's Epithel in tar. Let's get in there. Afterburner's still on. No more enemies. Let's, uh. My drone's repaired. Excellent. Return to drone bay. Nice work, guys. <coughs> Pardon me. Man, I need to speed this ship up. I want at least 600 meters out of it a second, which would be nice. I wonder why you never get to see Tevis Jack. Like right, you never get to see his picture. Loot all. Excellent. Right, let's get back to Tevis in tar. So, Stargates, tar, jump. Warp drive active. That was quite a fight. I enjoyed that. That was good fun. Right. And then we take it back to tar for him. Okay. I'm going to turn this in. See what he says, and then I'm uh, I'm gonna go. Thank you very much for watching, as always, guys. Some of these Eve, Eve videos can be a bit slow, but then you get into some of them, and it's just like constant fighting and uh, it's chaos, and I'm warping out and warping back in just to repair my ship and. <sighs> Oh, excuse me, things can get really hectic. And they're, they're the best episodes. Episodes like these where I'm just running backwards and forwards, they, they do annoy me a little bit. But uh, episodes where I'm warping into a location, I'm getting into fights, earning money, that sort of thing, I do enjoy that. It's just it's really hard to earn money in Eve. <laughs> really hard. Oh, it's not hard to earn money, it's hard to earn a lot of money, if, if that makes sense. Like, I could go out in my coveter uh, in Classile and pick up, like, three million worth of ore in one mining session. But, then all the asteroids are depleted, so I'll have that three million or whatever in that, in that one run. And uh, then I'll go back out to the asteroid field, and of course, by now the asteroid field is getting depleted. There are other people who have come from other depleted asteroid fields to mine your one out. Not your asteroid belt, but you know what I mean, like the one you'd sort of stake a claim to. Um, there he is, Tevis Jack. Okay. Rock door hold. Is, that, is he going to ask me to put it in the rock door? Okay. Okay, complete mission. Done. Ah, you're done. Good timing. Right, now. Why there are no stations out here, I do not under know. Ah, there we go. Yeah, we got a station. Right, we're going to dock with this dude. I think these are other characters. Yeah, they are. Let's go dock. But, um, that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I'll just complete what I was just saying. Um, yeah, it's easy to make money in EVE. It's not easy to accumulate a lot of money in EVE. Um, because resources do, in fact, dwindle and all that good stuff, so... Um, you take missions where you can, you take mining missions where you can, and uh, or mining operations where you can, and having a fleet where you don't have to pay taxes helps as well. So, uh, yeah. That's going to be it for me, guys. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always, and uh, I will catch you on the next episode. All the best. Bye-bye.